Hi everyone, this is Elise Krantz coming to you from College Coach with your Common App Tip of the Week. Tonight I wanted to give you some do's and don'ts when first creating your Common Application account. First, you'll need to create a username and a password. Now, your username is actually your email address, which seems straightforward, except that some students choose email addresses that just aren't appropriate for the eyes of a college admissions officer. Make sure it sounds professional and looks appropriate. You can use it not only when applying to college, but also later on for internships and job applications. Next for your password, this one can be a little tricky because it needs to satisfy a number of criteria. You're going to need to have one capital letter, at least one lowercase letter, at least one number, a special character, and it has to be a minimum of eight characters long. You'll probably want to write this down, if not email it to yourself, so you won't waste time having to create a new password down the road. Next, it's going to ask for a phone number. It's perfectly okay to include your cell phone number here instead of your home phone number. You just want to make sure that your voicemail greeting is set up. I know a lot of students use it for text only, but when an admissions officer calls, you want there to be an actual greeting that, again, is appropriate for an admissions officer. Finally, there's a page where you'll see some communication and privacy preferences. I usually recommend to my students that they leave the first box unchecked, but that they check the remaining three boxes. And that's it. You're on your way to applying for college. See you next week.